Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to another Creative Sim for the Disney save. Today we are working on the very final video in the Bugs Life saga of stuff for the Disney save. This is just a quick little Creative Sim for two Bugs Life townies. We of course had to add in Hopper. He is the main antagonist from Bugs Life and it just wouldn't be right to not include him. He doesn't live in any other household or necessarily like shown to be living in any particular house. He does have the hideout, which I already made in the last video in a little speed build. Go and check that one out because it has a lot of little hopper details and moments in there for him. But I opted to do it as a bar because it's not really a house. It is more of like a location where multiple characters would kind of be together. And it seems like it just has that bar vibe. It's not so much gonna be a residential. So he ends up being a townie, which is always great. We love to have a couple of townies from every movie anyway. And then I I was kind of thinking about like how many Bugs Life characters do I want to really include? If I'm honest, it's not the most popular movie and when that is true, I tend to just kind of limit the cast of characters that I'm bringing into the Disney save. And I've already done a lot with the Ant Island set of characters. Arguably could have even done a few more there. There are some Ant side characters that I just chose not to do. And then I did the Bug Circus household and that one ends up being so big that it just barely, well, it didn't fit all of the sims that needed to go into it. So we do technically have a couple of townies that come out of that as well. So doing like too many more characters, it just felt like too much. And I ended up opting for let's just do Hopper and his brother. There are some other Grasshopper characters that you probably remember. I think the other big one is going to be, I think his name is Thumper possibly, but I already felt like it was a little bit too many if I'm being so honest. So let's just do Hopper and his brother Molt. They are super recognizable and we don't always get Disney antagonists that have siblings. So I felt like that dynamic was kind of cool and important. It's usually like the main villain and their henchmen, but these people are related. So why not add that dynamic into the save file? Same scenario as I have been doing for the other bugs. I've really kind of figured out how to do this at this point. The antenna that I'm using in the video today is custom content. I don't normally do custom content in the Disney save, but I am making the exception for the buggy factor. And I will be uploading the versions to the gallery that are CC free and they will be CC free in the download for the save file. It's just to kind of help like visualize everything and that link will be down below for those of you that haven't picked it up yet if you do want to. And I'm doing Hopper and Molt as humans in today's video but I should be, they will be aliens for the save file as long as everything goes okay. I'm going to use MCCC to turn them into aliens but I wanted to keep their looks of how they would look as human, particularly the skin color because Hopper and his brother, they're grasshoppers, they kind of have like varying tones of tan and browns going on. They also have a lot of like detailing and scaling and sort of like patchiness or I guess you could say like almost like freckles or age spots to their skin and I really wanted to be able to go into the skin details that are available for like the human categories and use a lot of those to give that variation. Also using the highlight from Lovestruck to give the variation to the skin and add a little bit of those yellow tones in there. Hopper has one eye that is damaged and he has a scar over that eye and it would just be so nice at this point if we had heterochromia in The Sims 4 in the base game. It's funny that we have it for cats and dogs, but we do not have it for regular Sims. So I do recognize that that's missing from his character and hopefully in the future we'll be getting that as an update and I'll go back and fix him. But I did put the scar over the appropriate eye and then I just kind of added some to the rest of his body so that he had that idea of being a fighter, having like battle scars, maybe having been a little bit older and just, you know, he is a little bit of a violent character so he definitely would have some marks to show for that. And the way that I think of Hopper is I think because of like the influence of the Mexican culture shown in the hideout I do tend to think of him as a little bit more like western or southern and I really liked the idea of dressing him in like a somewhat polished nicer looking monochromatic western leaning outfit. The monochromatic had to happen because I've basically been doing that with the bug characters across the board and it helps to give a really cohesive cohesive look across the movie. But then I felt like Hopper, he almost gives us like mob boss energy, but to do like a full suit and do like New York mob boss was not really the vibe. So I gave him these like really nice gold tipped cowboy boots. And then his outfit is actually mostly from werewolves. So it's got some holes in it and some scratches, but it's still kind of nice, a little bit more polished, like I've been saying. And I feel like the combination of all of that kind of really gives his vibe. Molt was actually much easier to make because he just has almost like a 
human face put into his character design to really make him look the opposite end of Hopper in terms of being very friendly and approachable looking. He looks or reminds me a lot of Rosie. They look very human even though they are bugs. It's almost like a human face was kind of slapped on the figure and that makes them really easy to replicate which is super cool in this instance. So all of that in combination with the makeup and layering on some different things, some different skin textures and going in and using like some of those sunspots or kind of like the aging spots that I don't really get a lot of opportunities to use. I felt like it added the appropriate amount of detail to hopefully make these guys really recognizable. Now if you follow me on TikTok and if you're not already please do. I am totally in love with like posting over there and having a really good time with it and I am going to be getting into some like older stuff for the Disney save or more exclusive things that are just going to be on TikTok that I won't really be posting in any format here on YouTube in regards to the Disney save just because it's either like a short little thing that I am going to show really quickly and maybe I don't want to make a whole YouTube video out of it or it doesn't make sense to do a YouTube video. Even sometimes with these shorter creative sims like how I've done today, I debate on whether or not to include these characters but I feel like a lot of you will want to see it and want to know that they were included so it's a balance and I would rather put some of my shorter content on to TikTok. So these guys were already up and available for you guys to see a couple days ago if you follow me over there and that's why I'm just saying you should follow me because you'll get some early access and a little bit of like little sneak peeks and things that I'm not going to be posting over here. As far as Molt's outfit goes, much more difficult. I really didn't know what his vibe was. Again, I really wanted to stick with the monochromatic and use more of like the earthy tones, the browns and the tans, and possibly also go with werewolves as well, which I did end up doing with the sweater. But he doesn't have that polished look to him and I don't think that he needs to. And that is it for Bug's Life. If you stayed till the end, your little reward is that I'm going to be telling you finally what the next movie for the Disney save is. We are doing The Good Dinosaur. It's going to be one lot, one family, maybe one townie household. I'm not quite decided on it yet. And that's going to be the next couple of things that start to come out. So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to support the Disney save on Patreon, you can do so by clicking the link in my description box down below or the one at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you all in the next one.